Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my Instagram followers pick my makeup look, and this is the look. So if you're interested in this look, then keep on watching. So I do have the poll in a separate file on my phone here. If you guys are not currently following me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram. Um, and I also do leave every product that I use down below. And yeah, definitely subscribe, like, and comment. I do appreciate that. Go so for brows. I'm going to do brow pencils first. It was between the e.l.f. Ultra Precision Brow Pencil in Brunette, which is really not my shade, but that was the only one that the e.l.f. store had that day. And the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil in Expresso My Go To Brow Pencil. And the one that won was my NYX, of course. My NYX has 80, my NYX has 68% and the e.l.f. had 32. I'm just going to outline my brows. And to fill in my brows, I'm going to use a pomade. So it was between the Salon Perfect Done in One pomade in dark brown and the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pencil in Espresso. You know with the pencil, these are my go-to. And of course, the NYX one, 61%, and this one I'm perfect at 39. So my, as I'm filling in my brows, I'm going to talk a bit. I'm not going to speed this part up because I just want to tell you guys a few things. Um, first thing is, please excuse this really long, it looks really bad in the mirror. Excuse this really long scratch in here. Um, when I was doing my hair, I guess I scratched myself or with the brush. Um, because before I changed my top and before I did my hair, this was not there. Another disclaimer is, please excuse my hair, please excuse all that thunder and that rain that's going on right now. It is bad and of course it's like that. While I'm filming, it is currently a thunderstorm going on, which is insane. Um, so excuse my hair, like I've been having braids in because, you know, going to the pool, and it being so hot, it's just like, you really don't want to hear. And if you hear the AC as well, I do have the AC on behind my curtain. Um, I don't have my mic on because my mic only fits for my phone. It doesn't fit on the camera, which is just like so frustrating. So I'm going to try to talk a little loud, but I really don't like people hearing me in my house when I'm filming. What else I was going to tell you guys? Um, I don't know. Oh, if you guys want to see a skincare routine, that's what it was. If you guys want to see a skin skincare routine, definitely let me know down in the comments. Um, I'm really open to video ideas. So if you guys have any video ideas that you guys want me to see, please let me know. It doesn't even have to be down in the comments. You guys could actually send me emails or send me uh, messages on Instagram. Um, I'm really, really open to that. Whatever you guys want to watch, definitely let me know. I'm so open to video ideas. So this book, I have a bunch of video ideas. Excuse my ugly handwriting. I try to be cute with it. So I have a bunch and a bunch of video ideas. Like literally, like five pages deep of a bunch of video ideas and non-makeup video ideas on this page and then on this side oh it's more I have more on this side I have uh, makeup challenges that I want to do and on this side is the videos that I already have up on my channel I'm really open to video ideas I also have some on my phone like when I'm on the go and I'm watching videos like I always ideas just come to my head like on my phone I have I'm like rambling so much oh look I already have it open on my notes like I have so many videos I want to do I also wanted to do a video with my mom I wanted to do a because I'm sort of getting my mom into makeup and I've been teaching her and like I've been giving her lessons so I definitely want to do a video with her. I wanted to do a full face featuring my mother. 
Um, I feel like that video would be really funny because my mom is a very fun person. I need to be more consistent on my videos. That's another thing. Um, not really being so confident on my video ideas that I do have and I'm not getting a lot of feedback on my videos. Um, it really pushes me back to actually, you know, want to film. Um, so, like I said, that's why I'm always constantly asking you guys for video ideas on every single video, pretty much. So I know what you guys actually want to see on my channel. So next, oh, we're going to go in with for primer. I was very disappointed. This is like my second poll that I was very disappointed on. You'll see the next one that I was disappointed in in a while from now. And a couple of steps from now, you'll see the other product that I was very disappointed in. But this was between the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer and the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I've been so in love with this putty primer that I've stopped using this. Like, I'm so in love. So Smashbox won by 20%. Smashbox has 60 and e.l.f. has 40. Let's see if I can show you guys that well focus right take my big head out Ugh. I really need to learn how to use this camera well because the way it does not focus is really driving me insane so we're gonna go with the Smashbox like I said I do have my skincare done moisturizer done I already set it to the skin um, so yeah we're gonna go in with primer then I can't forget refreshing spray because I do have a refreshing spray and I do have a setting spray. So I'm going to do my refreshing spray multiple times in this video. And I also need to show you guys the concealer that I'm using because I'm also having, I also clean up my brows. The bottom of my brows with concealer and the top with foundation. I do love this primer. It feels so good and especially with that moisturizer. pressure to come in here. Oh, this day is about to, this part's about to cut off because it's only about to hit 12 minutes. So let me cut this off and I'll be back. So where do I have? I literally have like these containers full of both products that I put in the hole to show you guys. And I don't know where It was between these two concealers, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Treatment Erase Dark Circle Streaming Concealer in Sand Sable, and the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in Medium. Yeah, I know this one. They're my, like, I love both of them, but this one has been more of my go-to. This one was more of my go-to uh, last summer, but what's crazy is I was really thinking Bare Minerals was going to win because the first time that I put up my poll about a month ago I know I'm so late with this video about a month ago the um, bare minerals one I don't know which one I compared it to I think it was the elf one but the Maybelline won this time so the Maybelline got 60% and the bare minerals got 40 that's a bit better than the last one <laughs> to focus so that's what I'm gonna do for um, cleaning up my brows and also for the other eyes one I guess you could consider this as a challenge, right? This is one of the challenges. I consider it a challenge. Let me go to the sponges. I do have to blend that out. These sponges, I have four sponges here. I have the Believe Beauty sponge, the Morphe sponge, the Real Technique sponge, and the Beauty Blender. So, between, because I couldn't put all four in one pole, so I'm just going to pick which one had the highest. Between these two, the Morphe had 80, the Believe Beauty had 20, 
and then between these two, the Beauty Blender had 56 and the Real Technique had 44. So 80, I'm gonna go with 80, so Morphe had more. After I blend out this concealer, then I'll go to refresher sprays. I do have two, and then the setting sprays I'll talk about later. Then we'll get into. I'm gonna probably get into eyeshadow before I get into foundation. So I'm gonna put some more on the eyelids here. So for refresher sprays, I have the Urban Decay Quick Fix. And then the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This is the um, purple one. So I really thought the Urban Decay one was gonna win, but the Mario Badescu one won. Mario Badescu, the Mario Badescu spray is the one that won. Let me fix myself on my vocabulary because my last well, my last two videos, my seafood boil, <laughs> my boyfriend was like, that's not how you say that. So I said something wrong and he came at me about it. And I'm glad nobody else did because I did notice it and I was like, whatever. And maybe somebody's not going to notice it, but he did. <laughs> Anyways, the Mar Badescu spray is the one that won. It has 71 and the Urban Decay only had 29. I was surprised really really surprised okay so and then I didn't realize that I actually did put Urban Decay also as a setting spray I should have just put my MAC but I'm going to spray this because I just like a lot of bit of hydration on the skin and then I spray this also after like um powders and all that for the powder system so it's good <sighs> Okay, so I'm stressed right now. This is one of the reasons why I don't film on this camera because it dies like that. Like the battery's always low. Like it wasn't even more than 20 minutes of me filming and it was already dying. So I had to put it to charge. I put it to charge and I went to go eat. So I still just have my eyebrows done. Um, my primer, my facial spray, refresher spray. Um, my eyelids are still prime and very creasy right now. And yeah. So I'm going to go with eyeshadow. Eyeshadow, I have two palettes. It was between the Profusion Sienna's palette and the Morphe James Charles palette. And of course, the James Charles palette. The one, this was a video of me showing the palettes both open but to screenshot it to get the vote this is how it looks like blurry so the james shells palette has 67 and the profusion has 33 i feel like i kind of like lost the focus of the camera honestly i don't know this is all just like driving me nuts now so since the james shell palette did win I am thinking of using my e.l.f. eye tapes, but I actually did not put it in the poll whether to use eye tapes or not, so I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to do like this simple look, because I am, I should have put a different color shirt, but it's whatever, I'm going to do like orange, like kind of like an orangey eye. Right. Anywho, let's get into the palette. I do have my sheet still. I'm not going to set the concealer, but I am going to go in with this Wet n Wild Concealer brush. I'm going to take the shade Code Jeans, which is this one right here. And I'm going to just, I haven't used this shade yet. I'm trying to use shades that I really haven't used much. And I'm just going to pop this onto the crease. Here. Just lightly into the crease.
it. I'm going to go in with, is that rusted? Yeah, I'm going to go in with rusted up here. And I'm going to go in more with like a flat brush. This is a Wave 227 Luxie Soft Definer brush. And I'm just going to actually just pack it onto the outer corner and a little into the crease, but not completely, just midway. I don't know if you guys can see that. I want to zoom you guys in, but I really don't know how to mix it up. I'm just going to put it a bit halfway in the crease. I'm mostly on the outer corner, just packing it on with this brush. I'm going to go back with the wet and wet brush and back with Code James. I'm just going to make this a little more intense. I'm going to go in with 10% off. 10%? Yeah, 10% off, which is right next to Code James onto the same wet and wet brush. It's like a darker brown. And I'm just going to blend that onto the outer corner. I'm just going to blend it with both colors. This is a look I'm going by like an inspo look that I found on Instagram. I don't know the girl's name though. This is definitely not the shirt for this look, but it's so hers is more of like a like a reddish. So I am gonna go back with the rusted a bit. Back into the same area, like the outer V. Matter of fact, I am gonna put my eye tape on actually because I am gonna do eyeliner. Going with my tried and true Elf Line Divine Eye Tape. Kind of like it a bit more zoomed in because it looks like it's mostly focused on. Me. It's looking more brown than her. You know what? I'm just gonna go with it. Let me get some concealer. Cut my crease. I'll be back. Okay, so I cut to both crease and I like to pat in the concealer. I did the other eye also off camera. I like to pat in the concealer, blend it in with the shade on the side, and then I like to go back with. Both the colors that I used on both the brushes and basically I took rusted and smoked it on some more halfway and then I took 10% uh, off mixed with a little of um, Code James and blended on to the crease. She took the shimmer shade so good and she puts it on the lid. Benny right here in the corner and she smokes it out on the outer corner. And then she does her black liner and she does some glitter midway where you cut the crease. But I didn't do glitter. I didn't ask you guys for any glitter, so I don't know if I'm going to do any glitter or not. I'm trying to just stick to the questions that I did ask you guys. So if I knew what look I was going to do, then I would have asked about glitter. Oh, and when I cut the crease, I used the same. Maybelline concealer. I'm gonna take my Anastasia brush that came from my master color by Mario. I'm gonna take the flat side. I'm gonna go in it's so good. I'm actually gonna go and switch my brush. I'm gonna use the Luxie 239 Precision Shader. Back in with the Wet and Wild brush. I'm gonna take 10% off. For the two black liners, I have the e.l.f. I don't even know the name of this one. And then the Maybelline Master Position All Day Liquid Liner. And I have three Jessie Girl Liquid Liners in 
velvet. I had to put the little sticky because the packaging only had the color and this doesn't, the, box, the tube doesn't have the color. Uh, Blue Hawaii and Snow White. So the camera keeps dying on me and I'm really getting so frustrated at this point guys that I'm about to just switch to my phone. It's just a mess up to already 8 o'clock at night. Okay, so the pull between the two lashes. Oh, I did eyeliner off camera, of course, because it died on me. Um, and I was in the process of talking. So I ended up just using just the uh, elf liner. I didn't use the Maybelline one. The elf one did me good today. If you guys know, I just did my little baby wing. I looked about the eyeliner. But uh, I'm getting there. Um, the Zoe Sweet Lashes in the Style No Filter. And then these are the Red Cherry Eyelashes in the Style wispy um and zoe sweet one by 88 percent and this one lost by 12 percent so i'm gonna pop these on and be right back of course i'm gonna go in with my kiss strip last adhesive so lashes are popped on and now i'm gonna go into foundation it was between the tarte shape tape hydrating foundation and the born this way the Too faced born this way Foundation. I have the Tarte Shape Tape in Medium Honey and Born This Way in Natural Beige and Born This Way did win. Too Faced had 60 and Tarte had 40 and then of course with the Morphe Sponge and then concealer will be the Maybelline one because that's the one that won. It does oxidize, so don't be afraid. It's not too light, it will oxidize. Powders, it was between the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Finishing Powder. The Laura Mercier won by 64, 62 and the Maybelline had 38. Gonna give myself a little spray because 
I'm gonna go in with some blush. Okay, let me do this quick before this camera dies. So for blush, it was between the Pixi Fresh Face Blush in Beach Rose or the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Corky. The Tarte had 68 and the Pixi had 32. See that? I'm gonna go in with my large stipple wet and wild brush and I'm going to just pop this brush on. I'm kind of feeling a blush, a good amount of blush with this look and with some highlighter. The highlighter options were the e.l.f. metallic flare highlighter in white gold which looks like this. And the Amsazi Burby Hills Amrezy palette, and of course, Amrezy palette one. Amrezy had 83, Anastasia had 83, and Elf had only 17. I don't know why I keep showing you guys because I know it's like focus. I'm gonna go and spray. mascara and I have the Believe Beauty Eyebrow Styling Gel in clear. They're both clear. The Elf had 67 and Believe Beauty had only 33. So mascara, it was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara had 83. This one won and the Benefit Bad Gal Bang had only 17. dry and I'm gonna move on to lips I have a couple of lip options here so for actual lip sets I have the Kylie lip set here in Dulce K this is the matte liquid lipstick and then this is the lip liner and then I have the Believe Beauty lip set um, well I made this as a lip set this is the shade Foxy, this is the Velvet Matte Liquid Lip, and then the Long Lasting Liquid Liner in Band there, but it's like a good match. The Kylie Cosmetics 1, it had 75, and the Beauty Beauty only had 25. And then I had glosses as well. I have the Clear Gloss from Essence, this is the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss, this had 69, and the Sephora Nude Gloss and uh, Perfect Nude, it had 31%. Like I told you guys, I didn't have an eye look on mine. Don't worry, I'm going to take that off once it's dry. Um, and for setting spray, which is my last thing, before the shuts off for me is um, I'm gonna pop this off first before I put setting spray. It was between the Believe Beauty Makeup Perfect Setting Spray and then the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Urban Decay had 75, Believe Beauty had only 25. Hey you guys, so I caved in on deciding to film it on my phone because the camera kept dying on me and it was pissing me off. I was literally recording this video for three hours already, even four hours already. I think it's been like four hours already that I've been trying to record this video and it's been a struggle for me. I'm gonna go back into eyeshadow for the lower lash line because everything else is done. As you can see, this is the final look on my phone. I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe James Charles palette. So I'm gonna go in just with um, Code James and 10% off, just from running on the lower lash line. Um, yeah, let me spray some more of my Urban Decay All Nighter. 
so I really hope you guys do enjoy this look. Um, I did have to do the last few clips on my phone because of the camera constantly dying on me. Um, so yeah, I do apologize for that. It was really stressful. I was really stressing out about it. Um, I hope the audio is not bad because I, my mic does not connect on the camera. I hope it focused on my phone as much. Uh, I'm really trying to figure out that camera more. So I really hope you guys do enjoy this look. This video has been very long overdue. Um, this look kind of looks good with the shirt, kind of doesn't. I don't know. But yeah, I really hope you guys do enjoy this video. Stay tuned for more. Um, give me video ideas down below. I love you guys. See you guys in my next one. Bye.